Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things. So one is pre-training and the next one is fine-tuning. So we'll see what uh, pre-training and fine-tuning are. Now, uh, let's assume we have a very huge data set, right? We have a huge data set uh, with some millions and uh, billions of records. And we train our BERT model on that. So we train and save that model, right? We train the model and save the model and say this is our uh, new model that we have trained. So the model, we call this M. So this model M is now trained on a huge corpus of data and uh, that has took a lot of computation power and a lot of effort from our end. And now, if you want to use the same model for some other task, we don't have to train the model again from the scratch. Rather, we can use the same model, but we can just change the final layers uh, to fine tune, which means to adjust the weights of the model so that it is able to capture the task that we need. For example, uh, after after we uh, spent a lot of computation effort, uh, we, we, we generated this model. Uh, we use this model for some tasks, say we want to use it for a sentiment classification. And now we have some other tasks like text classification task. Now if you want to use this, uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, train on the text classification, we don't have to uh, start training this model from the scratch again uh, to use it for the text classification. We can just use this model and fine tune its weights. Fine tuning is nothing but we are just going to use the same model, but we are we are, we are going we are going to just adjust those weights a bit uh, because this bird now already understands the language better. So we can use that advantage to make sure our new tasks can also be carried out with the same model. So this is basically a type of transfer learning. And uh, since this transfer learning, with this transfer learning, we can we can save a lot of computation power and computation efforts. We can use the same model for a lot of uh, lot of tasks. And uh, BERT, BERT is basically trained on couple of a couple of uh, interesting tasks. So the one of the tasks that uh, BERT is trained on is mask language modeling. It's called mask language modeling. And the other thing that uh, BERT has been trained on is something called as next sentence prediction. Next sentence prediction. So these are the two things on which uh, BERT is trained on. So we say here on huge data sets, it's trained and it saved this model M. So this training is happening on two interesting tasks, which is mask language modeling and next sentence prediction. Uh, we'll see in detail what mask language modeling and what next sentence prediction in the upcoming videos. Uh, but to give you an, give you a quick overview, mask language modeling is nothing but uh, you have some masks. For example, uh, I'll have Paris is a mask and then I have city here. So here this mask to predict what the sentence, what the word comes here. So that is called as mask language modeling. And next sentence prediction is something like uh, there was a kite, sentence A, which is sentence A, and uh, it was flown by, uh, say, uh, Adam, right? So we need to make, sh we need to see whether the, the second sentence is a follow-up of the first sentence. So if it is a follow-up sentence, then it is a, it is a, it is a follow-up sentence or we, we basically need to predict true or false, basically. We will talk about these uh, tasks in the upcoming videos. Until that, uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll, See you in the next video. Until that, bye and take care. Thank you.